It's 2023 and the number of designers are increasing every year. And the jobs? No. Let me tell you that there are 500 designers for one job and only one of them gets hired for it. It sounds depressing, right? Well, don't worry. In this video, we will discuss about how to be a better designer and how to stand out. Hey designers, my name is Ankit. I am a self-taught UX designer and I create content on UI UX design. Many of you have already started learning about designs. But how are you different from other designers? We'll discuss about five such points how you can stand out and get hired for the job. First of all, to become a better designer, you should have a strong skill set. To stand up from other designers, you should be aware of the latest design trends, be able to solve real life problems, and stay updated with the latest tools and softwares used in UI UX design. Master your UI UX design fundamentals and it alone can make you a better designer than 100 others. Beginner UI UX designer just learn Figma for 10 days and start making case studies. No, that is not how it works. Practice design every day and get your basics cleared. Now every experienced designer or a beginner designer does have a case study. So how can we stand out here? Well, the simplest answer is to don't make case studies that everyone else is making. If you go on Behance and search for Flipkart UX case studies, you will get hundreds of case studies and many of them are not even good. Your case study should have a meaning. It should solve a real problem. Don't make a case study just for the sake of making a case study. Solve a problem. When you start a case study, make, make it in such a way that you are going to make this a startup or at least solve a real problem. Keep in mind that your case study should focus on problem solving, business growth, or progress in any area. Before moving to our next point, can you just hit that subscribe button? You already did it. Well, thank you so much. And this like button as well. Okay, let's move on to our next point. A portfolio is a representation of your work. Hundred of designers applying for a job don't even have a portfolio. Just a resume is not going to get you a job interview. There is no such designer who is not having a design portfolio. Include your best projects demonstrating a range of design skills such as wireframing, prototyping and visual design. Highlight your process, the challenges you faced and the impact of your designs on user experience. Make sure your portfolio is well organized, visually appealing and reflects your unique design style. If you really want to stand out from the crowd, you should be continuously learning. Design is constantly evolving field and for that, you need to stay updated on what's going on in the industry. For example, Apple just launched its new VR headset. In the next couple of years, we might not even use our mobile phones. For that, designers need to have the knowledge of spatial design. So they need to update themselves according to the industry's need. Read design books, blogs and articles, watch videos regularly and attend events and seminars and seek mentorship. Networking plays a significant role in standing out among other designers. Attend seminars or events and meetups, connect with the designers and make professional connections. This can really help you with recommendations and referrals. If a lot of people know about your design, then people will obviously reach out to you. Engage in online communities and platforms like LinkedIn and Behance. Building genuine relationships and connections can lead to exciting opportunities and collaborations. So these are some important points which you should keep in mind to improve yourself and your skill sets and stand out among other 500 designers and get hired to your dream job. Well, this is it for today's video. If you really liked it, do hit the like button and share it with your friends as well. I hope you learned something new. So thank you so much for watching the video and see you till next time.